the original Seymour touchscreens have been an industry staple for the better part of the last decade, and for good reason. They're a tremendous value. They're reliable, durable, full-featured, and have some of the best pricing in the industry. So why change it? Well, because they're using 10-year-old technology, and we saw an opportunity to give you more powerful features for less money. That makes the new EA9 series Seymour's an even greater value for you. And while for all practical purposes, the two panels are essentially the same animal that do the same job in the same physical space, the devil is in the details. So in this video, we're going to walk through those details so you understand exactly what the difference is, and then you too will be able to see more. Here we go. This chart is a side-by-side -side comparison of all six Seymour sizes. The reduced cost 6-inch screen and the regular 6-inch, 8-inch, 10-inch, 12-inch, and 15-inch panels. Each size has the original EA7 series panels in the left column and the new EA9 panels in the right column. Green boxes highlight the things that the new Seymour has that the original Seymour doesn't. Blue boxes highlight the things that the original Seymours have but the new one doesn't. If you see both blue and green, then the old panel had it but the new panel didn't need it so it's actually a good thing it went away. No color on a line means no change. They're the same. Let's zoom in and take this one feature at a time. The 800 by 600 resolution of the 12 and 15 inch panels is now available on the 8 and 10 inch panels. Both panels fit the exact same hole in your enclosure so you can easily drop the new one in place with no changes to the mounting surface. The new Seymour does have a slightly smaller footprint. You can see the difference between the old and the new Seymours if I hold this bezel from an 8 inch EA7 Seymour up against a new 8 inch EA9 Seymour. It's different for each panel but on average it's about an inch smaller in each direction. The one exception is the 6 inch panels. Their bezels are not exactly the same but they're pretty close. Of course the drawings with the exact dimensions for all these are available for free at the AutomationDirect.com website. You can also see the subtle design changes between the two here. The new Seymour has a little more updated and sharper look to it. The new Seymour's housings are made from a single piece of plastic now and because the plastics have evolved so much over the last 10 years, there's no need to have replaceable bezels anymore so the new Seymour has a more rigid and solid feel to it. The new EA9 series Seymour has a removable label on the front panel now so you can customize the display with your logo or even give it a name or a serial number. Just pull the Automation Direct label out and insert your own. Each unit comes with one additional label that's reversible black on one side, white on the other. And you can even get a 10 pack of blank labels to use as you please. The new panels have a power LED and a user programmable LED. The user LED can change colors between red, green and amber and if you enable blink you can even change the off color so now you can blink between any combination of colors. The new Seymours come with permanent LED backlighting. No more taking the unit apart to replace the cold cathode fluorescent lamps. And since the CCFL power supply is gone, you no longer have to worry about heat dissipation when mounting the Seymour. The original units had to be mounted vertically to ensure proper ventilation. The new EA9 panels can be mounted at just about any angle. The processor speed is doubled across the board and there's no longer a speed penalty for the reduced cost Seymour. It's just as fast as all the others now. All the new panels have a lot more flash memory. The larger panels are double the flash memory and the smaller panels are quadrupled the flash memory. The beauty of that is now you don't have to worry about the flash memory size as you change panel sizes. They're all the same now which makes changing panel sizes that much easier. All of the SD RAM has been quadrupled across the board and the retentive memory has been doubled on all panels. And the retentive memory is now magneto resistive. So you don't need a battery to keep retentive data and that's one less thing you don't have to worry about replacing in the future. The new EA9 Seymours do have a super cap that will keep the clock running for about 30 days. That way you can set up the panel at one shop and then ship it to another for the install and not have to fool with resetting the clock. And of course since the new panel doesn't have a battery, there's no system tag associated with the battery in the EA9 software. Project memory has more than doubled and the calendar function is the same. Let's scroll this chart up a bit so we can see the rest of it. The USB ports have been updated to version 2.0 for fast USB transfers and the Ethernet port is still 10100 
but now it's auto detected. You no longer need to worry about whether you need a crossover cable or not. The reduced cost 6 inch panel still doesn't have Ethernet, of course. All of the new panels support a mouse plugged into the USB port, and all of the regular panels now have three serial ports standard. The ComCon 3 serial port adapter that brings the 15 pin D sub signals out to a 6 pin terminal block so you can wire up the 422 and 45 signals doesn't work with all the EA9 panels because of the orientation of the D sub connector on that adapter. The good news is there's a new version of that adapter, the EA ComCon 3A. It does work with all the new EA9 Seymours and it's half the price. The original Seymours relied on compact flash memory for external storage. The new panels use SD cards, and the two larger panels have two SD card slots, and while the original reduced cost Seymour didn't have any external memory, the new reduced cost version does. If you try to downsize from a larger panel to a smaller one that only has one SD slot, the software will automatically remind you to change your project from SD2 to SD1 if you are using that second card slot on the larger panels. Of course, since the new panels don't use compact flash, there's no need for the module that added an extra compact flash slot. The two largest Seymours now have an HDMI output, so now you can connect the Seymour to a big screen TV for really large displays that everyone can see. The new EA9 Seymour runs on either 24 volts or 12 volt DC, and the same AC adapter works with the new Seymour too. And even though these new panels have a lot more features, the total power consumption is about the same. Again, check the data sheets for the exact numbers, but they're very close. Both the original and the new Seymours are UL and CUL, and now that CUL is recognized and accepted by Canada, there's no need for the Seymour to do the redundant CSA testing. The new Seymours come with a library of a thousand additional graphics so you can go crazy with your displays. It's important to understand that while the software for the EA7 and the EA9 have the same functionality and look exactly the same, they run on completely different processors, which means the EA7 software doesn't talk to the EA9 panels, and the EA9 software doesn't talk to the EA7 panels. The good news is, if you already own a license key for the original EA7 software, that key code will work with the new EA9 software. Just download the software from the Automation Direct website and use your EA7 license code when you install it to get a free copy of the new EA9 software. So to get this project over here, you need to read the project into the EA7 software, then open that in the EA9 software, which you would then use to transfer the project to the new panel. The EA9 software opens the EA7 project just like any other. It automatically makes any necessary conversions and issues any warnings or reminders that you need to be aware of. Easy. Both user manuals are available for download at the AutomationDirect.com website. You can go download those right now. The original EA7 series has the ability to import EasyTouch panel projects for panels that were purchased from AutomationDirect using the EasyTouch Edit software version 3.1a. The EA9 doesn't need to support that because it can read EA7 projects. Just bring the EasyTouch project into the EA7 software and save it as an EA7 project. Then open the EA7 project in the EA9 software and you're good to go. Both the original EA7 and new EA9 panels have microphone in and audio output jacks. The new Seymour panels don't have a monochrome option. That was originally done to save money, but since the price point of the new color panels is the same as the old monochrome panels, well, there's no point, right? Which brings us to the price. You get all of these new features shown in green in this chart with the new Seymours, but at a lower price than the original panels. That's right, a lower price. So at the end of the day, the new Seymour EA9 series panels do the same job, they fit the same cutout, and they support the old EA7 projects, but offer a lot more powerful features at a lower price. It's a complete no-brainer. And, given all of these new hardware features shown in green, you can expect to see some exciting new software updates that take advantage of those upgrades, so stay tuned for that. Of course, the old EA7 panels won't be able to take advantage of the new software updates, so if you want to be forward thinking, the new EA9 series Seymour is your best bet. Oh, and don't forget, AutomationDirect's award-winning and user-friendly tech support is free. 
please don't hesitate to contact them during regular business hours. They'll be happy to help you out. And check out the forums too. That's another great place to get support from users like yourself. Just don't post any questions for support there. There's no guarantee you'll get a response. You can find out more about the new Seymour HMIs at the AutomationDirect.com web store under Operator Interfaces, Seymour Touch Panels. Just look for the EA9 in the part number. And take a look at the accessories. Things like these protective covers are really inexpensive insurance that can prolong the life of your touchscreen. Well, now you should have a pretty good feel for the differences between the old EA7 Series Seymour and the new EA9 Series Seymour. And now you too can see more with Automation Direct.